Hey guys, Kip Create here. Uh, just a heads up, this is a bit more of a serious video. Uh, whenever Travangle put out that uh, first video talking about his consideration to quitting TF2 and uh, trying to start over in a different kind of channel, I figured it was a good time for me to talk about you know the recent TFTubers that have left and what the community may be doing to contribute to them wanting to leave. So, I just started working on a video and I contacted Array7 and asked him to put his input uh, as he's been around this for a long time and he has a lot more experience in this than I do. So, he sent me a recording and I feel like it says everything that needs to be said. So, I would ask that you are willing to give it a listen and that you would hear what he has to say and really consider it because I think uh, I think as content creators we work ourselves down to the bone trying to please you guys and we, we enjoy it we really really do but I feel like sometimes our needs and desires are not always considered in the same regard so please give this a listen and try to understand what he's saying on behalf of all TF2 content creators and really take moments to look inside yourself. Bottom of the barrel medical man of race 7 here folks trying to tell you guys about the sticky situation that a lot of TF2 content creators are in, right? So as of now, a lot of what we do is recycling content. TF2 has been out for about 10 years now and people have been making content for TF2 for about 10 years now. Now, while it's all well and good, at the rate that Valve produces new content for TF2, there's very little new things to do. Everything that there is to do is has already been done a thousand times. That's the problem. So, when a new update comes along, that's why every, everyone gets so excited. That's why everyone wants to hear you, TF2 YouTubers talk about it. But it's also why most people get so defensive about TF2 YouTubers leaving TF2, right? Because there's so little content Creators usually want to go do something else. There's very little, there's very little new and exciting to do that can engage them and engage them as content creators, so they decide to leave. Now, when people decide to leave, especially as YouTubers, the community goes in an uproar, right? If you ask any sort of YouTuber that decided to quit TF2, whether it be Xenomite, slash Minozit, Mr. Paladin, or Miss Moth, any of them, they will all tell you the same thing. The amount of backlash that they get for deciding that they want to move on to bigger and better things with their channels or just themselves in general, the amount of back that backlash that they get from that is enormous. It is, it is way beyond proportional for that. And that backlash will always be there. There is nothing we can do about it, right? There are plenty of things that I would love to do that I can't do in TF2. And I, normally I would do those things, but unfortunately the people who are subscribed to me are subscribed to me for TF2 because TF2 is already such a crazy narrow niche and any sort of deviation from that people just aren't interested in. They're interested in explicitly TF2 because in a lot of cases it's what they eat, sleep, breathe, shit, fart, whatever. That's all they do all day, all goddamn long, right? The TF2 community knows exactly what it wants from its content creators, and they know exactly what they want to have them produce, whether it be from the same person or from different people. It's always the same thing. So, as a result, they get very, very defensive and very jealous of their content creators because it's what they like, and because they want to see more of it, they will make sure that that never goes away. The community likes the same thing that they've seen over and over again, just repackaged underneath a different name, different picture, and different intro sequence. Even with people like Wave Robin, who is a fantastic artist, decided just to stop producing as much TF2 as she used to. Even if it's just for a couple months, she's already getting people just ignoring her because they don't do TF- she doesn't do TF2 anymore. The way she puts it, it's kind of like going to a foreign country and then going straight to the McDonald's to eat lunch. I mean, you have all this exotic food and all this, all these different experiences around you, but you decide to go with the, Mc the McDouble or Royale with cheese, whatever it is in, you know, Europe countries that aren't America and 
maybe Canada and Hawaii, I guess. I don't know. The TF2 community likes its familiarity. They like the consistency and they like knowing what to expect. So when someone shows up with something different, they're not that huge of a fan, just to put it lightly. But it's been said before and I'll say it again, there is nothing we can do about that. We can encourage people to be as open and willing to try new content from different content creators all they want, but it doesn't matter. It's not going to change. They know what they like, and they know where to get it, and if they can't get it from that source, they start getting angry, and they start crucifying people that used to give them the thing that they like, but now they don't. And especially for people like me, I, I feel like I have more things I would like to offer the community, and maybe some more interesting things to look at, but that doesn't matter. Because I feel obligated to stay with TF2 no matter what. That doesn't mean I don't like TF2, but it would be nice to go beyond that sometimes. But I know that if I do, people are going to start getting worried that I'm quitting TF2 or something like that. And they're going to start freaking out and it, I, I don't even want to know what happens. So it just, just kind of shoehorned everybody who's part of this community and creates content for this community to produce content exclusively for this community because any sort of change, deviation, or foreign concepts are completely shut down and ignored. Welcome to Team Fortress 2, fellas. Welcome to Team Fortress 2.